Hi Taurus, this is going to be your reading from January. Oh, I'm shuffling the deck as well. This is going to be your reading from January 1st to the 15th. I hope everyone is having a good new year. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check the moon and rising because you could be in that energy as well. Just a reminder that these are general reads, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. How I do my readings, I'll start with the angel oracle guide here, move on to traditional tarot, and then back to more oracle at the end. All right, so your message for these two weeks is holy love. Your message. You are blessed to receive this card today, for this shows that you're being surrounded by loving energy, and the cup of your heart will be filled until it overflows with goodness. The angels who are with you now know that at times you can feel unloved and unappreciated, and this can block your experience of love and appreciation. The divine energy that is surrounding you at this time is there to help you melt away any blockages so that you can be open and receptive to the love and appreciation you deserve. Your angel guide is encouraging you to view yourself in a loving way and give yourself a permission to be loved. If you've been holding back for a while and you are now ready to share the love you have within, this card brings the message that it is safe for you to do so. Angel, angels of love are gathering around you in awe and celebration for you're finally willing to remember how loving and lo lovable you are. And heaven is guiding you to see that you deserve loving relationships, loving experiences, loving acceptance from the world around you. This card marks a milestone of your own self-awareness. It acknowledges the steps that you have taken to claim your worth and recognize that you deserve to be loved and respected and to feel good. It could also acknowledge a new level of spiritual openness, which draws even more divine love from your angels and the Creator. You are loved beyond your wildest dreams and by the power and the presence that created you. Through receiving and acknowledging that love, you can create even more loving experiences in your life. A nice way to start us off there, Taurus. All right, just give me a moment to pull some cards, and then I will be feel what I'm feeling here, and we'll proceed from there. Give me a moment to feel this energy that I'm feeling for Taurus, please. I don't know why I like that one part of that like Christmas song that's like, War is over. Immediately came into my head when these kind of cards came up um, here. I think it feels like an end uh, maybe of a struggle for you or something that you maybe have been wanting for a little while is going to kind of um, start manifesting in your life here. I don't know why I'm feeling this like... Um, like really strong new start for you in January so I don't know if some of you are like um, putting that intention out there or in general or you just feel like maybe 2024 is going to be your year um, let me just keep feeling what this feels like Yeah, it's nice because the cards here I, that I have, I feel like you're going to be able to have some choices um, coming up in this, uh, either this month or in this uh, next couple of weeks. I think you're going to be making more direct choices of kind of what you want to do here. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. When the Five of Swords um, is in reverse like this, it means it's kind of like the end of defeat for us. You know, when this might have been a really challenging time, um, maybe we were struggling a bit in the last couple months, uh, maybe even the last year, and it feels like things are going to lighten up here a little bit for you. So if that is kind of what you've been hoping for, um, what you kind of been praying for here, just know that it's on the way for you. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles coming in here as well, which means a new financial offer or someone coming in with um, some kind of stable offer for you. This could be also romantic for you, Taurus. Um, this is basically uh, stability, uh, safety, security, finances here as well. Because it is a night, it usually means someone else is bringing that in for you. So you might be meeting someone or um, this might be a boss, a co-worker who, again, maybe you're getting a raise. Maybe someone's coming in with a job offer um, here for you. Maybe someone's just here to help you out kind of financially or bringing you something um, secure and stable here. 
<clears throat> it's interesting because we have the Seven of Cups coming in right after, which is saying that it may cause a little bit of confusion wherever this kind of offer is uh, for us, because it might there might be some choices involved. Again, um, like I was saying before, um, this offer might bring a little bit of confusion because you're like, I don't know which path to take. I don't know if I want to take this. I don't know if um, this is right for me. I have a lot of options here in front of me. I feel like whatever this kind of choice is for you, it is kind of a step forward. It is something that you've kind of wanted here because we do have the judgment coming in right after, right? They're seeing if you can kind of follow your intuition here. If you, you know, um, I think this opportunity is something that is kind of divinely guided for you. Again, in our life, we always have choice for us. So you can choose whether or not to take this or not. Um, it's always what you're feeling and what you're um your kind of intuition and is your gut is telling you here as well so it's judgment time on that and i don't think it's kind of like a test of judgment it's just seeing okay which you know which way are we more leaning towards you know is it is it this kind of road is it that kind of road and that's why i'm feeling like there's some good choice involved with this because at the end of the day it's all about you right and your choice you're not making a wrong choice if you have two things in front of you or three options in front of you there it's just whatever feels the most correct for you um i always see life as kind of like a choose your own adventure we have the chariot card coming in right after as well. So I feel like once this kind of decision is made or this choice is made, things will kind of speed up for you here. You'll kind of um, go into, you know, this uh, idea of moving forward really, really, really quickly. Um, it's like maybe this is happening fast as well. Uh, the chariot card is cancer in my deck. Um, so it might have to deal, this offer might come from a cancer here as well, but things might be, again, moving a little bit quicker um, than you expected or wanted it to. But we do have the five of pentacles in the reverse here, which again is new financing uh, new finances maybe a new job maybe a new house um, here some kind of financial stability coming in as well so uh, be on the lookout for that in these two weeks um, I feel like again we're kind of on the up trajectory especially if we were kind of really having a hard year yeah ace of cups for some of you this is definitely a maybe a person coming in here um, a new relationship um, or someone here just to kind of help you out because we have the ace of cups it's kind of overall happiness here it's a new beginning in our feelings a new beginning in love here as well so a lot of people this can be a birth of a new relationship again because you have the holy love card here taurus it also kind of maybe feels like this is just a new sense within yourself you know you're starting to enjoy things again you're starting to love things again you're starting to be happy you're starting to feel um good about life in general maybe if it even isn't in uh if it isn't someone else here um that's popping in it's just again your energy you're starting to feel like this uh this emotional kind of contentment again and happiness oh Somewhat, uh, for some of you, there might be a job that is about kind of relocating or moving away in a way, because I do have the Six of Swords here, which is kind of moving on or moving past. This could be travel. Um, this could be um, leaving, you know, moving to a new city here, traveling to a new city, just moving in general. Maybe some of you are like looking at new apartments, new houses, um, things like that. That could be on the horizon for you. Maybe the stability is um, a job that is somewhere else um, kind of in the world or someone coming in might live somewhere else here but we have the justice card popping up as well which is libra and energy this person could be a libra um the justice card is all about kind of um, contracts it's about good karma fairness um legality here as well so some again i see contracts so some of you might be signing new contracts here um or doing something to do with kind of the court but since the justice card is upright it kind of does mean that things are going to move in your favor um, in this kind of court case or, or whatever it is. Um, so that's why I think if it's a contract, it's something that's going to be a good contract for you. Um, it's something new and exciting here. We also have the Knight of Cups, which is uh, someone bringing in care, someone bringing in attention and bringing in love for you here. So again, there is this kind of like romantic offering or this... Um... Sorry, I'm just feeling what I'm feeling. I don't know why I'm feeling this way, but this Knight of Cups is a little bit delayed after this other stuff.
And it's feeling like it's almost like a progression. It's like this Ace of Cups kind of starts off, you know, we're starting to feel good. We're starting to feel connected and in kind of our emotions here. And this Knight of Cups comes from it. This person also might be, like I said before, Libra. I have Cancer on the board as well. Um, since I have uh, the Earth signs and I also have uh, Water signs here, could be Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio. Could also be another Taurus, <clears throat> Virgo, or Capricorn. But whatever this kind of moving on brings, whatever this kind of new contract, this new signing of something, there's something like really joyful or happy about it. And someone's kind of coming in to kind of bring you this kind of love and care, Taurus. Maybe some of you are healing from an Aries or healing from a situation where you felt very kind of over-controlled. Um, like someone was um, controlling you in some sense. We have the Emperor card in reverse. When uh, this card is in the reverse, this person's kind of quick to anger. And um, sometimes they can be like a bad boss kind of energy. Someone that's kind of, um, you know, micromanaging, controlling of your behaviors and your thoughts and everything that you do here. I don't know, but there's some healing evolved from this person. Uh, so with this Five of Cups in reverse, we're healing from a situation where we felt... Um, maybe a loss of control or felt like you know someone was trying to command us to do things that we didn't really want to do here whatever that conflict is if it is with an aries or if it is with a boss or someone else here i think that's going to be resolved we're healing from it we're moving on from it we're not letting it affect us anymore because you're on this kind of new journey with this ace of cups and this knight of cups and the six of wands you know you're just like i don't want that in my life anymore i'm moving on from that and, and not letting it affect me in that kind of way Four of Wands, some of you are moving home or moving to a new, again, it's like moving to a new home, getting a new home, moving to a new apartment, getting out of a situation here uh, with this Four of Wands, because the Four of Wands is all about that. It's also about engagement. It's also um, can be like um, weddings, parties like that. Anything that has to do with like that foundational stuff, uh, marriage, uh, weddings, uh, new homes, anything in that kind of area here. It's interesting though because the Knight of Cups, or sorry, the Knight of Swords is coming in right after, which is saying there might be a little bit of a, a, a stuck area with that. Maybe you're feeling like you're kind of stuck um, in your kind of house right now, right? You you feel like oh well, I, I still have a mortgage to pay. Uh, for some of you, you're feeling stuck in a situation that has to do with kind of your finances or your home here. I don't know why, but I'm feeling kind of like um, um, debt, like it's almost like debt that has to do with housing in a way, or um, that kind of kind of home life here. I have someone that's kind of maybe greedy on money, and you're kind of feeling stuck because you're kind of dealing with this kind of king of pentacles in the reverse, dealing with someone who's kind of all about money or just cares about money in a way. This doesn't have to be a person. It could also be big institutions that not only see you as a person, but just see you as kind of like a monetary value. We have the Six of Cups in reverse, which is saying we're stuck in the past energy with this. And I don't feel like it's like you being stuck in the past. I just feel like some of that past, maybe, um, you know, that past debt or that past greed in a way is kind of um, feeling like you don't have options or or we're kind of stuck to where we are because of that debt or because of that kind of um, financial responsibility that we still have there and this why is this page of cups or page of pentacles is in reverse because it's just like some kind of financial venture or something didn't really work out for us maybe we had some financial problems um in the past or um you know we were kind of spending too much money here as well but it, it's just some energy in this on this kind of new chapter where we feel kind of indebted to the past in some kind of capacity but we have the ace of wands here which is saying hey there's a new beginning for us here and i feel very strongly if some of you like aren't moving to a new home or aren't moving away here i do feel like it's kind of like a spiritual um kind of move here for yourself where you're kind of really bringing in the new and it's like yes i still have this other kind of financial debt or this kind of um you know thing that's holding me back here but i'm not going to let it um, affect my choices for the future because again, there's something exciting it feels like on the way for you here. You have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Wands. I 
I don't know, new start vibes. Yeah. You're really on this kind of like new healing journey here, Taurus. I just saw like a, literally like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. So you might have felt like you're in a cocoon for a while. I also feel the the kind of metaphor of being stuck or being, you know, contained for a while. Like when we're in our kind of, you know, when they're in the chrysalis stage of um, a butterfly, you know, they're, they're kind of trapped in. And, and now I kind of saw the kind of butterfly breaking free here. So you might just find a new kind of sense of freedom or a new sense of adventure coming up by the end of these two weeks. If there is this kind of financial burden that's kind of keeping you stuck here, I think you are kind of working on it. You're like, okay, I really want to kind of work on my finances. I really want to work on maybe my investments, saving money, building kind of my equity here as well. Um, I see that in you. You kind of really want that drive and that focus to do so because we have the Queen of Pentacles up right here. And again, this card for me is all about kind of like um, nurturing our kind of stability, nurturing our investments, nurturing our savings um, where we can here, Taurus. With the Two of Pentacles in reverse, um, you're kind of seeing where you might have been spending too much money. You're like, is this kind of worth it anymore? You know, am I spending too much on going out? Am I spending too much on rent? Should I like downsize? Am I spending too much, you know, um, commuting? It's whatever it is here that you feel like you are spending a lot of money. I think, again, you're moving into a new space now. I think, I don't know why, but I feel like you're really focused on that kind of stability in your life, that financial stability, because I see kind of that burden here um, that we've kind of been stressed about in the past or it's been keeping us in the past here. But you're really kind of starting a new cycle in this new year. And it's funny because it, it seems like that January 1st is going to be that kind of new start for you might already be feeling like it now but just kind of pulling some oracle cards for this for you all right so we'll start off with a starseed oracle so this week your message is double mission lightworker starseeds serve the world by being you like worker star seeds are mission and purpose oriented. Many have the feeling that time is running out. There's something that came here to uh, to do, create, or contribute. They're here to grow a soul's individually individual mission, and also could to contribute to the planet in some kind of action oriented way or collective mission. Their collective mission is often answered through a career calling, like devoting their life to something bigger. Until they remember their collective mission, it can feel as though something is missing, or that they're forgetting something important. It's common for light worker star seeds to feel that they are different, that they may carry soul uh, memories or being visible or sharing their voice. As such, uh, they may protect themselves by dimming their light in order to fit in or spending time in some sort of closet, such as spiritual closet. If you pull this card, you're being called to remember your collective mission and step into it even more fully. You're being remembered that your soul, uh, uh, your role as a light worker is to light up the world with your presence. This doesn't have to be a great big thing or a decision that you need to make. You also don't need to have a great big plan. If you resonate with being a light worker, all you need to do is work out what lights you up, your passions, your joys, and keep doing that. This is the Ace of Cups energy. This is the Ace of Wands, right? This kind of new happiness, this new kind of freedom. When you trust and follow the simple path of things that light you up, then lose yourself in the doing. You'll light up the world without even trying. Beautiful. All right, and then your energy oracle this week is Envy reversed. I don't know why I also got the message just kind of like making love to life. And I know that's, I don't even know if that's the actual saying, but it's just, again, like making um, your life a love letter to yourself, to the world. I think it's going to change yourself here emotionally for sure. All right, so you have Envy reversed. This card reversed held a great time of joy and appreciation. Ace of Cups. Your choice to shift your focus from future longing to present gratitude creates a significant difference in your energy field and moves, a and moves in a dramatic and radiant way to attract more to you. You know that you can keep your eye on future goals without losing sight of your present gifts. So continue to re release any old feelings of envy or lack whenever those thoughts or emotions come up. You're well on your way to a completely gratifying life and your genuine acknowledgement of the value within 
and around you will only draw more value to you. With all these pentacles, that's what this reading is about. It's about that kind of value that you're bringing in here, Taurus. All right, this, I think this was a great reading for you and a great beginning of the new year. I hope that helped.